Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the Saudi Arabian men's national soccer team's history. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. The country of Saudi Arabia has a population of about 34 million people. It's located in the Middle East on the very southwestern edge of Asia. The National Soccer Federation is a part of the Asian Confederation, which is abbreviated AFC. Saudi Arabia plays most of its home matches at the King Abdullah Sports City, which is located in the city of Jeddah, and it holds about 60,000 people. The Saudi Arabian Football Federation was founded in 1956 by Abdullah bin Faisal Al Saud, nephew to King Saud. The Saudi Arabian national team has two nicknames. The first is Al Sogor Al Akhtar, which translated from Arabic means the Green Falcons. The Falcon is a fast flying predator that's seen as a symbol of force and courage. The Falcon is the national symbol for Saudi Arabia as well as other Gulf nations. The green color comes from the Saudi Arabian national flag. The other nickname is Wilad al Sara, which translates to the Sons of the Desert from Arabic. It comes from the terrain in Saudi Arabia, which contains lots of desert. The National Federation crest looks like this. It's a falcon with a soccer ball paneling on its neck under a green canopy that resembles a palm tree. The SAFF stands for Saudi Arabian Football Federation. All of that should be pretty self-explanatory based on what we've already discussed. Saudi Arabia has played in five World Cup Finals tournaments, including the 2018 World Cup. Its best finish was 12th place at the 1994 World Cup. From a continental competition perspective, Saudi Arabia has played in nine AFC Asian Cups, and they've won three of them, 1984, 1988, and 1996. Saudi Arabia qualified for the 2018 World Cup by coming in second place in Group B of Asian World Cup qualifying behind Japan. They've been placed in Group A for the 2018 World Cup. I'd like to highlight three of the best players in Saudi Arabia's history now. Mayad Abdullah Mohammed, who was nicknamed the Arabian Jewel or Desert Pele, was the greatest goal scorer in Saudi Arabian history. He earned 140 caps with Saudi Arabia, which was a record at the time he retired, and played in the country's first ever World Cup in 1994. Sami al-Jabbar earned 163 caps for Saudi Arabia and scored 46 goals during his nearly 15-year playing career with the national team. And finally, Mohamed al dia was goalkeeper for 178 caps, an international goalkeeping record, and he played at four World Cups. He is widely recognized as the best goalkeeper from the Persian Gulf. And a couple of players to keep your eye at in the 2018 World Cup, Nawaf al Abed, who is a star player, and he plays for Al-Halal. He's an attacking midfielder, considered one of the best playmakers in all of Asia. And a breakout player to keep your eye on, Fawad al Mawalid, who plays for Levante in Spain. He's a 23-year-old striker who can play anywhere along the front line. The Saudi Arabian national team's main rival is Iran. There's a political and natural rivalry between the two nations as Iran's Muslim population is predominantly Shiites, while Saudi Arabia's Muslim population is mainly Sunni. With tensions already raised from that situation, these two countries have also been two of the best soccer nations in Western Asia for decades. They've never even played a friendly and matches are always hostile affairs when these two countries meet. Saudi Arabia's all-time record appearance holder is Mohamed al dia with 178 caps, and the record goal scorer is Mayad Abdullah Mohamed with 71 goals. And one last interesting fact about Saudi Arabia, the federation was created in 1956, but it didn't join the Asian Football Confederation until 1972. So the country's first World Cup qualification cycle came in 1976. Even though Saudi Arabia were a dominant force in the Asian Confederation throughout the 80s, the Green Falcons didn't make their first World Cup until 1994, almost 40 years after the federation was created. So there you have it, a bit of history on Saudi Arabian men's national team. If you have anything else to add to the discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!